company guys um, <clears throat> back to do another lesson this time for uh, Cold Sweat by James Brown um, I haven't heard this song in years and I actually uh, saw Phil X playing it in, during one of his demos um, and uh, Phil X, in case you don't know, is he, he does all different guitar demos of old vintage guitars, and um, he he'll you know he'll talk about the guitars and so forth. But what he'll also do is just launch into these songs sometimes and just start singing and playing. And uh, he 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 just started ripping into Cold Sweat, and uh, he was fucking rocking it. And really, it really got my attention. I was like, "Holy shit, that's fucking awesome!" What, what, he, what he just did. Um, and I, you know, I watched it a couple of times, trying to pick up what he was doing. And he was playing it super funky, fast, and everything. Um, soulful, very soulful the way he was doing it. But uh, uh, what, the, what it, the way it starts is um, with uh, C. Chord. This is a uh, this is the eighth fret C bar chord, okay. And you're gonna play the first four notes in that chord instead of bar chord. You're gonna play uh, your first finger is gonna cover the um, uh, first two strings. Your second finger is gonna be on the ninth fret of the G string, and your your ring finger going to be on the 10th fret of the D string like this. And that's uh, C. And you're going to also want to add your pinky to the 10th fret of the uh, B, B string. Like that. And um, you're going to want to slide it down the way the, the, the little lick that he does is he, uh, he slides it down to the 10th fret and then brings it back real quick and then there's a little uh, bass note from the 8th to the 10th fret on the low E string. You're going to play that and you're going to quickly come back to these chords. goes to, let's see, this is uh, C, like a C7, and to make a C7, uh, instead of the C bar chord, you're going to lift your, your pinky to where it normally would be on the 10th uh, fret of the D string, and bring it to the 11th fret of the B string like this. That's C7. So the, anyway, the change is, uh, let me see. <clears throat> let me go over that slower. Uh, so those chords are, that's the C7. This is, I don't know the exact name for it, but it's like an octave chord. Uh, it's, it's, it's G, I know that, it's in G. Let's just call it the G octave chord. Your first finger is gonna be on the uh, fifth fret of the D string. And your pinky is gonna be at the eighth fret of the B string like this. And you kind of have to mute the G string in between. And slide it up. And that becomes the A, A octave chord, <laughs> let's call it. And then it switches super quick to this chord. And this is, uh, let's see, a ninth, this is an F ninth chord, and you're gonna slide it up to the G ninth chord and back. Go back to the um, C seventh. Changes again. Cold 
little sweat. And that is, uh, let's see, uh, E, F, sharp G, B flat, B, C. find that groove um, but it's uh, it's a little tricky and it's a little tricky switching from this bass chord to that to that back to that chord and uh, you know quickly going for that bass note again but it's a funky little riff and I mean, if you can get that down It's just really, it's a cool song to know, and I uh, just wanted to share it with you. And um, I hope that you enjoyed it.